I mean, everything's fine. Like, nothing's wrong in the slightest. Like, I just... I know now, like, I can't just talk to some overly sensitive chick who, she'd oh, never okay. survive in my world. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, she's definitely the problem yeah. here, for sure. <laughs> your world, yeah. your rules. Yeah, yeah, you know. Virgin Mornings. Why did you never text her back? What happened? Oh, um, ghosted. Are you ready for the truth? I am. All right, we're going to introduce you to Leo, who went on three dates with Angie and can't figure out why he's on ghosted now. So, Leo... What's up? Welcome to the show, and why are you here? Hey, Virgin Radio. What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> Not much, man. What's up with you? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Well, I can't just call to say hey. No, you're you're here for a reason. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, buddy. Tell us what happened with Angie. Yeah, you know what's up. I heard I heard the last ghosted, and it seems you guys made it work for them. So I was hoping you can help the same magic for me. And, this way i mean in the way we did yeah i don't know yeah, if, uh, yeah. magic yes if enabling is helping then yes, yes yeah. we absolutely help okay so 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 tell us about this so i like this girl her name is angie she's really cute really smart and we get along pretty well i don't know her much yet we've only seen each other a few times but from what i do know i really like her we have the exact same sense of humor, which is really important for me. And right after our first date, we started DMing our favorite bits, jokes on Instagram. Hmm. And, like, she just gets it. Okay. Uh, it's so hard to find a girl who gets it. Yeah. 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 yeah I yeah. guess. So then... <laughs> All of this it's sounds a, good. Why yeah. are you on Ghosted? Yeah. What, what happened? Well, I mean, like, it's been good, but then a few days now, I've called, I texted, I've DM'd her, and she's just not answering me. I'm just running out of options now, you guys. Yeah. How much? How much texting? How yeah. much calling? How often? How frequent? Uh, like, I'm not going over the top, okay. but it, it's been like a few a day, because I'm like, maybe she's <laughs> working, maybe. That's she over the top. Okay, well, just let him talk here. Okay, he didn't get to finish it. <laughs> He's like, just a few a day. Oh, don't talk. Yeah. Just give him a minute. Give him a minute. <laughs> Poor Leo here. <laughs> it's nerve-wracking enough to be on with us. I understand this. So, Leo, um, here's what we're going to do. You've made all the calls and texts, and, and Jax has suggested politely <laughs> that maybe it was too much. So how about we make the phone call for you next and see if she picks up, and we'll find out what happened. Okay, yeah, that sounds great. So if you haven't met Leo yet, here he is. He's a funny guy, uh, nice guy, went on three dates with somebody named Angie, and uh, then he's never heard from her again. Tried calling a couple times, texting a couple times, and nothing, right, Leo? N nothing. Now, is there any other details you want to add to this story before we make the call? I mean, there's really nothing I can think of. The last combo we had, we were dying laughing about a Bill Burr special over the phone. And I don't know, that solidified that I wanted her in my life. Like, you guys get what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, people get Bill Burr or they don't. Yeah, uh, it's not for everyone. Uh, okay. Um, now, when we make this call, as I, I often say to people, this could be a real hit to the ego because these answers are unfiltered. Are you sure you want us to make the call? Yes, please. I got to know. Well, let's make the call to Angie. Hello? Hi, is this Angie? Yes, it is. Angie, Adam Wilde, TJ and Jax from 99.9 Virgin Radio. Good morning. Hi. Uh, hey, hey guys, how are you? Good, how are you? What's going on? Um, not much. <laughs> cool. Hey, All right. why, why'd you ghost Leo? Uh, Leo. Did he call you too much? Jax. Oh, um, well, <laughs> Leo is, um, Leo is something else. Uh, actually, yeah, Leo is actually a lot of things. <laughs> Oh. A uh, a hack being one of them. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a okay. lot. That's a lot to uh, digest right off the top. So, let's start from you guys dated three times, from what we understand. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so three so times is a, is a good amount of time. Yeah. Like people like that's people are like, oh, I kind of like this person at three times, right? Yeah, but so like he didn't tell you guys he's a comedian. <laughs> no, but it's kind of making sense. He uh, he's mentioned he liked comedy, and yeah. you guys, sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, we've heard that um, yeah. you got, he likes comedy, you like comedy, and that you were trading bits back and forth. Yeah, Bill Burr, that sort of thing. Yeah, well, he pro well he probably wanted to just come off like naturally funny, and so I thought he was too. <laughs> and I mean, like honestly, it kind of sucks because we actually get along like amazingly. And I almost regret, like, looking into him further, but it's because I was actually starting to catch 
feelings. Yeah. And but you know, I guess it's just for the best now. What happened? Like, what what did you find? Well, I went to see him perform last Thursday, and the entire set was about me. <laughs> like good or bad? And no, not in a flattering way oh. at all. He said, like, I came to the date looking thirsty. He said, I ate my meal and his and had the nerve to ask for dessert. And, like, meanwhile, we met at Second Cup, and I took, like, a nibble off his carrot muffin. Is that right? <laughs> and we actually, like, joked about the carrot muffin, too, but, like, way funnier than his jokes on stage. <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah, and then he said I was dying to come back to his place. And, like, this guy has three other roommates who's trying, like, who's trying to go home to that. Like, he actually claimed that he had to struggle to get me to leave his house. And he would actually hate oh. for me to say this. But he actually ended up crying in my arms that same night about how his ex did him dirty. And it took him a while for him to leave my car. I'm just like, now... it wasn't funny at all. I mean, yo, I guess why the comic Phil, just Phil. Angie, you think comics are always telling the truth on stage? If you can't handle this heat, then it's best we don't hang out anymore, I don't think. Sorry, yeah, Angie, he's on the phone. Go go ahead. What did you want to say? Like, wait, heat? Leo, you do realize that no one was laughing that night, right? Like, they cut your time short, and the host literally said that as soon as you got off the stage. Leo, this seems like a bit of a backfire, man. I mean, everything's fine. Like, nothing's wrong in the slightest. Like, I just... I know now, like, I can't just talk to some overly sensitive chick who, she'd never oh, okay. survive in my world. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know, she's definitely the problem yeah. here, for sure. <laughs> your world, yeah. your rules. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just a bit of a bad boy, and some people can't take the heat, so get out of the kitchen. Angie, do you have anything you want to add? Um, just that I was definitely more interested in talking to you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you know, you. if you miss us, you can listen to our podcast every day on the iHeartRadio app. I do like podcasts. You guys actually make me laugh, though. So. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Angie. I called them, not you. Okay. okay. <laughs> Everybody take really good care. <laughs>